Hi folks, this guy. Yes, well, uh, as you guys know, it's, it's Movember, and as you can see, very much clean shaven. I've been uh, very not used to not being able to twitter with my uh, with my goatee for the last couple of days. But anyway, as promised, I, I did say I was going to do at least a video a week, just talking about my own experiences with mental health. Um, and I, before I say anything, like, obviously, I'm not the only one. This isn't just me. This is a lot of people that have, like, these same mental mental health issues. And I'm also just riffing off the cuff. I haven't pre-planned anything. I just thought I'd hit the record button and go for it. So, yeah. Anyway, so today, I thought I'd talk to you about anxiety. Now, anxiety is one of those things that there's actually a lot more people than you realize that they have anxieties on a daily basis just usually quite good at hiding it although i do have a habit if i'm you know at a party or if i'm in amongst a whole lot of people you know i'm very chatty then all of a sudden i'm sitting in the corner just very quietly by myself and, uh, that's usually not to do with anyone in particular or anything that's usually just i'm having a little internal panic attack and the nerves inside of me are going and uh, telling me random shit and making the heart pump and, yeah, making me not want to be there. But this is, as I said, a common thing. But I think I, over the years, I have slowly been heading towards the pirate persona of the captain, which I think has been one of my one of my ways of dealing with the anxiety because that is a, a different person. Um, I can I feel more comfortable saying things that I usually wouldn't be able to say in most situations because it's not necessarily me that's saying it it's the captain that's saying it but that doesn't stop the anxieties or like fully or anything like that because one of the shit things with anxiety is you can wake up at three in the morning and all of a sudden you've got something going on through your head it could be something from like 15 years ago and it's just like why did i say that why did i do that what the hell then that leads to a whole just continually going on until you, your chest gets tight you're feeling a little bit sick you can almost see your heart pumping in your chest and it's all from something that happened 15 years ago that up until that day you hadn't even thought about but um yes yeah, so i've i believe i have been using the uh the, the captain as a way to deal with my own anxieties and i'm sure there's a few of you out there that uh you know use certain things to to, to deal with your own anxieties um, I mean even right now actually <laughs> talking about my anxieties is setting my anxieties off which is in a way a kind of a tragic irony but as I said uh, I'd like to share this with everyone and just also remind everyone that um, yeah it is Movember um, I have been raising funds I've already got almost $300 if you would like to uh, do some more there will be some donation, uh, the, the clickety thing in the bottom of the, yeah, as you can see, my mouth words are starting to fail me. Once again, anxiety, and my heart's starting to pump, and I'm <laughs> slowly snuggling this, this pillow, this pillow more and more. But, you know, it, it's it's one of those things that, that a lot more people suffer from than what you realise, and actually, creative people, it seems to be quite rampant in creative people. And, you know, I love what I do. I love being up on that stage. I feel way more comfortable up on that stage than I do in just normal social situations. And I think a big part of that is because once I'm up there, I've got this massive bubble around me. And, you know, that, that bubble, I control everything that's happening in that bubble. And everyone on the outside, yeah, they can come close to the bubble, but they usually don't get inside the bubble. Also, if people are trying to talk to me from the crowd while I'm playing, like I can I can handle that because I'll usually talk back to them through the microphone so then already I've got control of the conversation uh, the rest of the crowd are only hearing like one half of the conversation so they're not getting the full story plus if I'm starting to get kind of a little bit anxious and want to carry on I can just start playing a song and go into the next song I will say uh, Halloween night was a pretty good night but there was uh there was a lady there that almost gave me a panic attack. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, because you're not supposed to be dancing at the moment and all that. And I was just trying to do my job and she kept coming up to me halfway through the songs, yelling at me, play something I can fucking dance to. Just play something I can dance to. Just play something I can dance to. And I've got music that people can dance to, but I, 
yeah, if I'm doing a four hour gig, which I did like that night, I'm not going to like just full energy four hours. It's like, yeah, chuck a dance one in, chuck a slower one in so I can catch my breath and all that, and chuck another dancey one in. But yeah, she was uh, just very, quite aggressive about it. And yeah, I almost had a panic attack. And I actually did come about this close to to just putting the guitar down and walking off for 10 minutes so I could, I could calm myself down. Now, thankfully, I have learned over the years uh like when i'm being triggered and all that kind of stuff so i have learned things that can calm me down for me some um like my drawing and that kind of stuff that that kind of stuff calms me down uh actually playing video games because i can it's like escapism and i can just escape into another another world there I also reading books although i don't read books that much very often uh watching movies yes that can work but then again sometimes I'll be watching a movie and then a random thought will come in my head like, oh shit, fuck, I hope I didn't offend that person when I said that like 20 years ago. Oh my God. And then obviously I'm not focusing on the movie anymore and it's it's once again going going through and through my head. And um, yeah, I'm actually trying very hard not to, not to freak out here at the moment. Also, losing my facial hair. I didn't realize that I was going to get so anxious about that. But I, I, it is for, as I said, it's for a bloody good cause because there are a lot of people in New Zealand that, uh, that are going through mental health issues that, you know, the money that gets donated uh, to my Movember page will be going towards uh, hopefully more facilities, hopefully more programs, more awareness even is a big thing, which is another reason why I'm talking to you about my anxieties while trying not to freak out and uh, have myself a panic attack. This is um, this is probably the most real a lot of you have seen me because, like I said, once I put that captain's hat on and I go out in the world, that's uh, that's a different person. Also, when I go on the stage, I usually remove that stuff, put it outside the stage, do my thing, and then come back, and then it reattaches itself to me like like those little suckers from Aliens, oh, you know that kind of shit. So it's uh, yeah. But anxiety is a very real thing. Uh, for those that think, oh, just, you know, you, you just need to calm down. That is, no, 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 no. Like, yeah, you, you, you kind of do need to calm down, but it's not just a case of calming down. It's a case of, of learning, not necessarily what's triggering you or why you're being triggered, but learning that you're being triggered and learning things that you can do that will help, you know, the, the bring, bring the heart rate down make it easier to breathe and all that kind of stuff and thankfully i haven't haven't had to go to hospital for a panic attack since i think like last year was the last one that was a fun time yay yay but um yes no this is a very real thing and this is why we need to raise awareness about mental health and like i said today i'm just talking about anxiety next week i'll, I'll do a video about depression and, and my experience with it and also try and raise some awareness for that. But um, before I get, uh, yeah, like this video has already gone on for about eight and a half minutes. Some of you have probably already turned off by now. If you haven't, cheers for sticking along for this uh, anxiety fueled ride as I it slowly get more and more snuggled up into my into my pillow and um, and and try and <laughs> try and share my experience. This is uh, I'm actually having a bit of a bit of trouble sharing this. This is um, yeah. Yeah, maybe I need to. There we go. So yes, anxiety, it is a very real thing and we need to raise awareness for it. It is one of the big mental health issues that that uh, a lot of people suffer from. So if, if you suffer from anxiety or you know someone else that suffers from anxiety, which chances are if you don't get anxiety, there are people you know that do. But just know that you aren't alone in the world. This isn't just a unique thing that is with you. Uh, it is a unique experience for you because we all experience everything our very own unique way. We're all wired different. We've all had our own different experiences. And because of that, we all experience these same things, but completely different. So just be, be kind next time you, you have one of your friends like freaking out. Or if it's you that's freaking out, like maybe just make those around you aware of what's going on, even though. That is another way of setting off the anxieties and all that. It's, uh, yeah, I actually feel a bit more comfortable now that I've uh, thrown that on. Anyway, folks, so uh, 
I thought I'd just uh, quickly share that with you and remind you guys that it is Movember. I'm, this is slowly not very fast growing back, but it is it is getting a bit stubbly. It is getting a bit stubbly. And, um, and yeah, one of the things I found out is one of the things I do when I'm anxious is play with my goatee, which I can't play with my goatee. I've still got my hair, so I can still, you know, play, play with my hair and, and all that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah. So um, I hope I hope to see some more donations for Movember. As I said, already gotten up to about three hundred. And for those that have asked about how much for the hair to go, I did put the value of five thousand dollars on there. I'm not too sure if that was a smart idea because there are a few of you, I believe, we're talking about starting the GoFundMe page. Um, I'm I'm very attached to my hair, and, and yeah, but if it does get up to there, I will go through with it. I, I'm a man of well, I try to be a man of my word. But, um, and if you do want to donate to my page, it will be the first comment in the comments at the top of the comments on, well, uh, underneath this video. Anyway, folks, I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to go and calm myself down and, um, yeah, I hope me sharing this experience of my own experiences, because a lot of you haven't seen this side of me, they just see the the man that I am when I go out of the house, whereas a good 78% of the time I am, yeah, freaking out quite a bit, you know, could even be freaking out over like, does a certain person like me or not, or like, you know, like what, like, yeah, it's, yeah, as you can see, I'm tripping over my own words now, so I'm going to leave you all to it, and um, yeah, hope to, uh, to, I hope my experiences are uh, helping others know that they're not alone in the world and that they are they're still all beautiful people despite what what their own brains may think because our brains are our own worst enemies and they tell us some of the worst shit sometimes and quite often it's not even true and you know i can't remember what the term for it is but for you know when you you suddenly you have guilt for something that happened 15 20 years ago that everyone else has probably forgotten about you'd forgotten about till then i can't remember what the uh what the name for it is but it's there's something around the guilt i probably should have done done some looking up before doing this but i thought i'd just do this as natural as possible so it didn't come across too like robotic so that you could, yeah as i said i would like to share my my anxiety with all of you so that you, yeah, you can see that, that what people show on the outside when they go out and that doesn't necessarily reflect what's going on the inside. So remember to be kind out there, folks. And I'm just going to once again put that blanket call out to, to those that uh, that want someone to talk to or want a safe space. I'm not available 24-7, but I have been... Uh, I have been getting more and more into being able to do video calls and all that kind of stuff. So if you want a video call, even if it's only for five minutes, just for that kind of stuff, I won't try and give you advice or anything like that. I won't judge you. I won't sh share anything that you've told me. It is all, it all, what even comes to me doesn't go past me. And usually, you know, those that do need to talk, they aren't looking for advice. So, you know, don't just try and tell them, oh, this is how you should do it. You know that they're not looking for anything like that most of the time they're just looking for someone that they can sit down or video call and just chat with and anyway folks i'm gonna go draw some pictures now and um and calm my my beautiful brain down but i hope you guys are staying safe out there look after each other and welcome to movember and please 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 donate donate to my movember page because as i said if it gets to five thousand, i will be which uh, mini panic attack just thinking about that. But I will do that. Anyway, folks, I love you all. Till next time, keep by the hoe. May the winds be in your favour.